Hello. It's a sunny October afternoon and so Mr J and I have come out to do uh, some more preparation for the winter. We have all these pallets which I've removed uh, lots of the wood from uh, and I've saved the rest of the pallet uh, to use as firewood but it needs chopping up. I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm. This is also the time of year I like to look at this herbaceous border, see what's outgrown its allotted space and <laughs> very definitely this perennial sweet pea is much too vigorous for here. So I'm going to take all the dying growth from the top of it and then I'm going to lift the plant, move it into the shrubbery because I still love it but it's not right in this space and in here I'll put something tall and something elegant perhaps some foxgloves or maybe some delphiniums. And this sort through in the autumn also gives me a chance to have a look to see what's self-sown. Uh, so there's a fennel here and I will lift that and move it where it's not <laughs> in the middle of the path. And over here uh, is an Alcamilla mollis. I absolutely love these and I would like some more over in the long border so I'll lift this one and transplant it to the long border. That's got a nice healthy root system on it and as soon as that gets into the into the soil and not just into wood chippings that should grow away really nicely. Out here in the patron's garden there's tidying that needs to be done as well. There are bamboo canes lying around, well they can be put away. Um, and I store these uh, in the pallets uh, that make the fence between the vegetable garden and the patron's garden. The other thing is I'm hoping that I will find my garden hoe because I've put it down somewhere and my guess is it's fallen over. I don't know where it is. Uh, I haven't been able to find it for about three or four weeks. <laughs> I'm forever losing that. It's one of those things that it's got a wooden handle uh, so it's beautiful but I really need something that's bright yellow or some <laughs> something that's got a really vivid colour on it so I can see it uh, when it falls over. Um, boys, that's my skirt. I don't think I want you eating that. I'm glad it tastes nice but I'm going to put it in the veg garden and hope that the ducks don't eat it. It actually doesn't look too bad uh, out here in terms of tidying up. It appears I can even tidy up turkeys as well. <laughs> don't know where they've gone off to. Uh, so just a few pots uh, from where I planted uh, in the border at the end that's in front of the polytunnel. I wasn't really planning to be recording this 
uh, but the boys are out. They're not being very well behaved. Uh, so I just thought I'd film them. They are having a lovely time, uh, but they're all over the raised beds and just completely misbehaving. The other thing I've noticed, there are loads of mole hills here and I have no problem with having moles here. Uh, and mole hills are great. I'm just going to scoop up the soil uh, and put them into the raised beds uh, because the soil's great. Before I scoop up this mole hill here to put on the bed, uh, I probably need to clear away uh, these cosmos. Uh, this one has had it. It's looked beautiful all year. Uh, but it has come to the end. It's dry, it's crunchy. I'm shaking as much soil off it as I can. Um, because I don't need to put that. Because I don't need to put that in the compost heap just to bring it back again. It's better that it stays in the bed. So the soil from the molehill is super, uh, but it has got quite a lot of clover growing through it. So I'm just going to remove that because although I'm happy with that to be uh, in the, I want to say grassy areas, but they're not because it's the clover areas between the raised beds. I don't really want it in the raised beds if I can help it. So a few moments just to go through that. You can see the uh, soil improver that I filled this bed with um, is a very dark colour uh, in comparison to the quite clay soil that I'm putting in it. I don't want to mix it up too much. I don't want to expose too many weed seeds uh, to the light. Um, but also, I don't want to ruin the soil structure. So I will leave that like that and let the worms do the mixing for me. Well, I can hardly believe this. Only 10 minutes ago I was telling you that I'd lost my hoe and I found it. It was lying uh, next to the tunnel uh, that I have the brassicas in um, so it was actually helping to hold down the netting. I'm really pleased. Uh, I'm definitely going to tie a piece of bright yellow something around it. I'm also going to go and put it away uh, where the tools live. Well, I'm going to carry on tidying up, walking around the garden, finding things like uh, these seed trays, get them cleaned out, get them back into the polytunnel, uh, ready to reuse in the spring. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. I also hope you'll join me again next time.